I never thought I was gonna have to make a video like this, but apparently it's necessary. Hello! I totally forgot today was Monday, so I honestly wasn't prepared to record a video at all. When I realized it was one of my video days, I was just going to do something really, really simple. But I started scrolling through the Alpacasa tag on Tumblr and was suddenly inspired. I want to talk to you about Alpacasa and bootlegs. I know there's a lot of text posts, guides, and resources out there already, but I've actually been asked to do this video before and Let's be honest, there's no such thing as too much education on any topic. So today, I'm going to try my best to bro bro break it down for you and hopefully help you figure out what's what. Okay, so let's start off with the very basics. What are Alpacasso? Alpacasso, which is also known as Arpacasso, are Alpacasso plushies made by the brand Amuse. Amuse is based in Japan, but the plushies themselves are made in China. And bootlegs? Bootlegs are obviously fakes. Bootlegs are any unauthentic alpaca plush that is wrongfully being labeled as Amuse Alpacasso or are deliberately meant to look like a specific Alpacasso series from Amuse. Some bootlegs are more obvious than others and a lot of shady sellers get away with selling their bootlegs for the same price as the authentics because of that. A good way to avoid buying bootlegs are by purchasing from a good, well-known, trustworthy, reputable seller. Some of the ones I can list for you off the top of my head are Rosie's Garden, Tokudi Shop, Kawaii Plush Love, Kawaii Day Slash Day Style, Tokyo Otaku Mode, Cutie Pie Kawaii, and Pixie Shop. But there are a few others out there. There's also a lot of well-known sellers on Tumblr like Derpola and Alpaca Loco, and also a lot of well-known collectors that only sell authentic alpacasso from their personal collection. Now, let's say that you can't find the specific series or alpacasso that you're looking for from those sellers. Do not be afraid to message or email them asking them to keep an eye out for you. I know I have asked Rosie and she's been able to come through for me on multiple different occasions and I also know that Kawaii Plush Love does that for people a lot. However, if you do have to resort to buying from other places, here are some important things to pay attention to in order to depict the difference between authentic and bootleg. The tags. Amuse Alpacasso has two sets of tags, the paper tags and the fabric tags. The placement of the fabric tag is important. For the adult type Alpacasso, the fabric tag will be on the butt. He is what I call the adult Alpacasso. This is his butt and here is the fabric tag. For kids and baby Alpacasso, they will be on their side. This is a kid's Alpacasso. Here is the tag. This is a baby Alpacasso and here is his tag. You should also pay close attention to what the fabric tag says. If it's a kid's type Alpacasso, but the fabric tag says baby Alpacasso or just Alpacasso, it's a bootleg. There's also a lot of things to look for in the paper tags. The paper tags are always going through the fabric tags with the exception of the 8 centimeters and the 12 centimeters. If the paper tags are going through the ear of the Alpacasso, it is a bootleg. It's a bootleg, no exceptions. And I see that a lot in some of the more common bootlegs. The paper tags should always, always match the series of the alpaca. If the tag says natural alpacasso, but the alpaca is supposed to be the gorgeous series, then that's a bootleg. Although a lot of the older series have just the series paper tag, there's also a lot of series that have two other white tags. The first one being a QR code tag, and the second one being what I call the license tag. How many paper tags your alpacasso is supposed to have just depends on the series. The size of the alpacasso is also very important. Amuse makes alpacasso in these different sizes. 8 centimeters for the stretchy strap, 12 centimeters for the ball chain, 16 centimeters for standard size, 33 to 40 centimeters for the large kids and baby alpacasso, 40 to 55 centimeters for the large alpacasso, and 100 centimeters for the jumbo. If you see a large adult in 34 centimeters, I probably wouldn't trust it. If you took the time to compare authentic Alpacasso pictures to bootleg pictures, you will more than likely be able to see a difference in the faces. The legs usually just look a little goofy or off. A lot of times, the eyes on the bootlegs are smaller and further away from the muzzle than what the authentic Alpacassos are. Also pay attention to the mouths. Authentic Alpacasso 16 centimeters and smaller all have hand stitch mouths, whereas the larger sizes mouth shape depends on the series. The older series tend to have hand stitch mouths as well, until Amuse decided to start doing machine stitched mouths. There's large alpacasas with more rounded mouth shapes, but then there's also alpacasas with more straight V-shaped mouths. Again, which mouth shape your alpacasa is supposed to have 
depends on the series. Since I gave you a few reputable sellers, I'm just gonna name you a couple of stores I can think of off the top of my head that you should definitely stay away from for one reason or another. Love Jojo, Tofu Cute, Premium for Plush slash Gifts Hotel on eBay. That is for more reasons than them just selling bootlegs. Flippo and Art Picasso Shop HK on Store Envy. It's really risky to buy Art Picasso from places like eBay, Amazon, AliExpress, and others of the like if you're searching for authentics. But it's not 100% impossible to find. You just have to know what to look for. If you're willing to pay the extra fees to use a deputy service like Baiyi, then Yahoo Japan Auctions is also another good option. When it comes to the auctions, you're not only pretty safe when it comes to authenticity, but you're also able to find older and rarer series. I really hope this information will be useful to some of you, but I will stress that it's always good to go out of your way to do your own research. There are quite a few different resources and guides that I know of, so I'll just leave a bunch of links in the description for you to check out. There are also collectors and sellers that are more than happy to help you if you're questioning the authenticity of your Picasso or one that you're trying to buy. For real, always feel free to send me pictures on Tumblr, which I'll also put down below, and I'll gladly help you out as much as I can. Kelly, or Amusing Art Picasso on Tumblr, actually created an Picasso forum where you can find a thread specifically dedicated to helping people determine if their Picasso is real or not, along with a lot of other great threads like an entire list of different Picasso series. I will also put the forum link down below as well as the specific thread for authentication and the Albacasso series list. All in all, point blank, just know your series, know your seller, and be wary before spending your money because collecting Albacasso is not cheap. If you like this video or you found any of this information helpful, then give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will talk to you on Wednesday.